So here, your flesh cannot glory in the presence of God. You cannot enter into the presence of God when it's all about your flesh. You're trying to work the Holy Spirit instead of the Holy Spirit working you. You're trying to work the hand of God instead of you submitting to the hand of God and the hand of God working you. You're trying to tell God what to do instead of trying to get in and receive instructions on what God wants you to do. How can you give instructions when you can't even follow instructions? How can you tell somebody what to do when you're not? God is trying to tell you what to do. God is trying to give you instructions, but yet you're trying to give somebody else instructions. I have to be the first partaker. I have to know how to worship. I have to know how to submit myself. I know I have to know how to give myself. I, I have to know how to give myself away. Some of us don't want to give nothing away. You want to hold, hold on to everything. Even when you come up here for prayer. What's the sense of coming up here for prayer when you ain't giving nothing up? You might as well stay in your seat. If you're not willing to give it up, stay in your seat. I encourage you to. Because you're not going to work me. You come up here, you holding on to everything. When you were in the first place, you was up here to give everything. How in the world you change your mind from five steps from your seat? Why? Because pride. Pride. You come up here and you're very prideful. You don't want nobody to see you fall. You know you feel the presence of God. You know the presence of God is all over your life. You know the presence of God is moving you right now, but yet pride. Oh, I don't want, I don't want nobody to see me fall. Hold on. Wait, let me hold on. Hold on. Wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me back up. Let me hold on. That's that pride. That's that pride. Soon as somebody lay hands, you feel the power of God. But guess what? That that right leg just you just slide on back. It's sliding in. You you bending your knees. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Ho oh, oh. ho. That's that pride. Don't want to receive. It don't want to receive nobody or nothing. You're working and operating. Have anybody ever been prideful and you don't listen to nothing nobody else say? You ain't want to hear nothing nobody else say. You know what? I got this. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. I, I'm, a, I'm a grown man. I ain't got to listen to you. I'm a grown woman. I ain't got to listen to you. I got this. I do this by myself. I work every day for mine. Prideful spirit. Just prideful. Don't want to listen to nothing. If you don't listen to anybody else, you need to listen to God. Because God can be operating through that person you rejecting. Anybody thought about that? God can be operating through that very person that, that that person is trying to tell you what to do, how to do it, and how to get through it. But yet, it's our pride. I got this. And then you want to tell them, God always bring me through it. Well, hey, wait a minute. God is speaking to you right now. Like, baby, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to let you know God sent me. I don't know you from Adam. But I know what the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you. No, I got this. I pray God ain't tell me nothing. But that could be confirmation for what's about to come. There's a worship that needs to happen in your life. I'm talking about a real worship, a real cry. I mean, a real ridiculous cry. I mean, you don't have to be snotty nose, but you can just give everything that you have. <laughs> There's a worship that needs to take place. Some of us ain't worshiped God for, year, for, for real in years. You done left 
that, 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 that area of intimacy. You left and walked off and you left that area of intimacy. We need to get back to intimacy. We need to get back to it. We need to get back to alone, being alone with God. Some of us don't want to be by ourselves for nothing. We don't want to be by ourselves for nothing. We scared to be by ourselves. But being alone, God can, you can seek the face of God. We always want somebody in our company. We want somebody in our house. We always want somebody over our house. Get them people out your house and lay before God. Get them people, send them on the road. If they don't want to be, if they don't want to go where you trying to go, they need to go somewhere else. Because your life is dependent on it now. Your salvation is dependent on it now. When people are around, we become fake. I'm being real. We become fake. We become fake. We become people. We, 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 we don't even act like that. You don't act like that when you by yourself. But when somebody come into the presence of you, then you want to, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Everything all right. Everything ain't all right. It's time to be real with yourself so you can be real with God. Too many fake folk in the church. Too many, too many. Uh, 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 Charles say, Pastor, one thing about your member, they, they real, they speak the truth. I say, well, ain't no other way but to do it. I say, there's too many church folk that's faking it around here. I say, if you got a problem in sleeping in the church, they gonna, they supposed to tell you. They supposed to tell you to wake up and hear the word of God. They supposed to tell you to come from the outside and hear the word of God. They supposed to tell you to come from the back and hear the word of God. They supposed to tell you to stand on your feet and hear the word of God. They supposed to tell you. It's too many people. Oh, God going to do it. God will work it out. They're supposed to tell you. And if they didn't tell you, then that was on their hands. Because God instructed them to go ahead and wake that brother up. Wake that sister up. Because I'm trying to tell him something that can free him out of his situation. I'm trying to tell him something that can... Oh, Jesus You've been crying about a word all week, but yet you get in church and you want to go to sleep. Pastor, pray for me. And then you want to get in the church and go to sleep on the pastor. But yet you want God to work in you. But in the presence of God, you, you, you sleep back there. You mind your own business. You're on the phone. You're playing with children. You're doing this, you're doing that. You're looking at the blinds. Oh, this is a beautiful sanctuary. They mind somewhere else, but don't want to hear the word of God. The word of God will set you free and deliver you out of your situation. The word of God will lift you up and turn you. Oh my God, my God, my God. Do you hear me what I'm saying in here? The word of God is life. The word of God is life, and that's the least wanted thing in the church. Everybody want to sing, everybody want to shout, everybody want to kick from the church, but they don't want to hear the word of God. They want to come in and tear up your church, and then when the word of God come in, they somewhere else don't need to be found. Sit down and hear the word of God. And stop hurting yourself all over the church. The church ain't got no insurance to pay for you. Sit down and hear the word of God. It's time, church, that we sit down and hear the word of God. I'm tired of all these hanky-panky words that ain't getting me nowhere. 
I'm tired of all these bubblegum messages ain't getting me nowhere. These people need the word of God. And if you can only just sit and listen to the word of God, then you will have a word for somebody else. You can't minister to nobody if you ain't got the word in you. Sit down and listen to the word of God. And then, therefore, when you want to go out and minister to somebody, there's a word that's already in you, that God has already, that, that God has already birthed in you, that you can give somebody else that can come out of their situation. You don't need money to bring everybody out of their situation. You just need the word of God. The word will set them free. The set them free right there in their bondage. It'll set them chains free. Baby, I see you hurting, but I got a word for you that'll make you come out of what you're in. Baby, I see you on drugs, but I got a word that'll set you free from what you're taking. Baby, I see you hurting right now, but I got a word that'll love you like never before. I see you doing what you're doing, but baby, you don't have to do what you're doing. There's a word that I got to give you. It don't have to take money to set people free. All they're going to do is take the money and do what they want to do anyway. And end up right back in the same situation. Right back in the same situation. It's time to come out of what you're in. Because the word and the worship is here. The word and the worship is here. Stop being prideful and rejecting the word of God. Stop being prideful and rejecting the voice of God. Stop being prideful and rejecting the will of God for your life. Everybody in this building has a will. Has a will that God is trying to use you. He may not use you like he used me, but there's a different area that God is trying to use you in. But now you got that pride spirit that's rejecting the will of God. And now other folks can't be saved because you're not uttering the will of God. There's people that need to be saved and delivered that's waiting on you. Because I can't reach the people you can reach. God got my set of people that I'm supposed to reach. And we're wondering why the world ending up like it is. And we're wondering why these spirits flowing like they flowing. We don't have no control. You don't have control over yourself. How can you control a spirit? How can you control a situation when you are out of control? You are out of control. It's time to get back in control. It's time to get in the will of God. It's time to get in the word of God. It's time to get in the presence of God. It's time to get in the will and the presence and the glory and the favor of God. Amen. It's time. It's time. It's time. I can't do this by myself. I won't even sit up here and tell you I can. I can't do it by myself. I won't do it by myself. Y'all folks ain't finna kill me. No, sir. No way, no way, no way. You need to get saved. It's time for you to save yourself. Save yourself. Save yourself. What the scripture says, who can neglect the, my, the great salvation? Uh, 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 the escape of the great salvation. It's time for y'all to save yourself. Stop depending on somebody to bring you out of your situation. 